Trading cards have made a big comeback since the pandemic, and a Louisville trading card store knows how in demand they are. But a recent brazen burglary has cost the store thousands of dollars in a heist that seems like it's right out of the movies. They cut a two and a half, I guess, about three foot hole, and they scaled down. Staring up at his destroyed ceiling, Louisville Sports Cards owner Chris Buckler still can't believe what happened inside his store around 4 o'clock Wednesday morning. This is where they came in. When he came into a Shelbyville Road location that morning, he thought the ceiling collapsed from heavy rain. I immediately noticed afterwards that there's product missing from the shelves and that upon closer inspection, somebody had taken a Sawzall of some sort, cut a hole in the ceiling and then scaled down and proceeded to steal a large amount of inventory. Although the store has several security cameras, Buckler believes the people who got in were experts on how to avoid the lens. Several boxes of cards were taken. They knew exactly where the motions were. They knew where the cameras were. They knew they knew what they were doing. Sports cards gained a lot of popularity again during COVID as more people spent more time at home, picked up old hobbies, or went through old boxes. For roughly $1,400. So how much was little, taken little during room. Wednesday's heist? My cost roughly approximately $65,400. And there's still so many products still to come out. Buckler it's believes this is part of a number of similar cases around the country. He knows of at least 10 that have happened, with one Virginia card store having $120,000 in cards stolen. And I mean, it's heartbreaking. It's gut-wrenching. It's terrible. Um, it's all replaceable. That's fortunate. You don't expect someone to scale the walls, essentially cut a hole in the walls and then and just force their way in. It's, it's new to me. Buckler is now installing a new security system. Middletown police are investigating and looking at security cameras from nearby businesses. To deal with a roof, I have to deal with a ceiling, I have to deal with a wall that is soaking wet, carpet that needs to be replaced. It's just, it's going to be a lot of work. But his passion and those of his customers for coming in, man. are keeping the doors open day. during the investigation. Despite the setback, it's not a strikeout for the store. I love this hobby, I love the community, and we're not going anywhere. And if you know anything about this burglary, call the Middletown Police Department. The number is 502-365-1900.